Milky Way is the spiral galaxy consisting of 500 Arab stars. Whereas the neighboring galaxy Andromeda galaxy consists of more than 900 Arab stars. You might have heard the news that these two galaxies will collide after 4 billion years. But how do scientists calculate it? Do they use measuring tape or they use any scientific tool? By measuring the blue shift from the light spectrum of Andromeda galaxy, we can calculate its approaching distance or approaching velocity from Milky Way galaxy. It is to be noted that the first impact of these two galaxies is after 4 billion years. But the totally merging of these two galaxies will occur only after 6 billion years. Here we have some calculation for you. Now let us do some calculation. Okay, Andromeda galaxy is approaching Milky Way galaxy 200. Listen here, at 226 km per second. And the galaxies are approximately 1 million parsec apart. So we are using these two parameters. So first of all, we shall write distance between two galaxies. The distance between two galaxies is given by 1 million parsec. 1 million parsec. 1 million parsec means 10 to the power 6 pc and 10 to the power 6 pc means 1 mega parsec we got our distance now the second thing radial velocity radial velocity is given by 226 kilometer per second yes now let us do the cal calculation now now first of all we are going to find hubble parameter first of all we are going to find hubble parameter hubble parameter okay now Hubble parameter Hubble parameter h is given by v by d h is given by v by d now v means 226 kilometer per second and 226 kilometer per second and distance is given by 1 mega parsec so we can write this as 226 kilometer per second per mega parsec yes now again again we have to calculate time yes we have to calculate time time of collision and time of collision is given by 1 by Hubble parameter 1 by Hubble parameter so we take 1 by Hubble parameter means 266 kilometer per mega parsec into second mega parsec into second so we can write this as a 1 by 266 into kilometer means 1000 we can write 10 to the power 3 now we have to convert mega parsec into the next one so i shall write here 1 mega parsec 1 mega parsec means 10 to the power 6 parsec 1 mega parsec means 10 to the power 6 parsec 1 parsec is equals to 3.1 into 10 to the power 16 meter 3.1 into 10 to the power 16 meter and one important value is one year is equals to 3.15 into 10 to the power 7 year we need this three constant here in our calculation okay now let us do one into now mega mega parsec will be converted into parsec 10 to the power 6 and parsec will be converted into 3.1 into 10 to the power 16 meter correct 16 meter so we got here meter and second and here meter so we cancel meter and meter now we'll get the value 1.17 into 10 to the power 17 second 1.17 into the power 17 second now when we divide it, this by 10 to the power 17 second by 3.15 into 10 to the power 7 then it will be converted into year which is approximately 3.71 into 10 to the power 9 years this means 3 mm, this is literally this is literally 
4 billion years. Okay, this is literally 4 billion years. So this is the calculation how we calculated the time of collision for Andromeda and Mercury galaxy. My dear viewers, watchers, please do remember these are the two galaxies over here and these two galaxies just touch each other okay it is the time that two galaxies just touch each other they are not mixed up and form milky meta galaxy now we will do the calculation calculation that how much time will it take these two galaxy galaxies will take to form into a one galaxy that means to form that two supermassive black hole will form into the bigger one Okay, for this we have the next calculation this we will do over here okay now here uh, the value is already given d is equals to 0 0.7 million parsec apart 0 0.7 million parsec apart 0 0.7 million parsec so we can write this is a 0 0.7 megaparsec we can write this as a 0 0.7 megaparsec. Now, let's take radial velocity r is equal to 110 km per second. 110 km per second. Now, we shall take the Hubble parameter. Hubble parameter, HUBBLE Hubble parameter. Hubble parameter, Hubble parameter h is given by V by as is given by v by t now b 110 kilometer per second divided by distance is 0 0.7 mega parsec now when we do these two calculations then we will get the value 157.1428 kilometer per kilometer per second per mega parsec okay now we'll get this panel now we have to find again now we have to find a uh, time of collision yes now we have to find time of collision and time of collision is given by 1 by h and 1 by the value is 157.1428 kilometer 1428 kilometer per mega parsec into second so similarly we will convert this 157.1428 into 10 to the power 3 kilometer means 10 to the power 3 and when we will get this up we will get value 10 to the power 6 into 3.1 into 10 to the power 16 meter second we did this calculation like our previous one then from here we when we calculate this we will get the value 2.00454618 into 10 to the power 17 second now we have to convert this into we have to convert this into year now we are going to convert this into year 2.00454618 into 10 to the power 17 divided by we have to convert this into year so we multiply divided by 3.15 into 10 to the power 7 this will be converted into year yes this will be converted into year now the value we get is 3.3 6.36 into 10 to the power 9 year that means 6 billion years that means after 6 billion years these two galaxies will form so that the new galaxy will 